I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. <laughs> Today is the 22nd. I booked myself a solo lunch at Manteca. So let me show you the outfit. I really don't want to wear a jacket, but I have to because it is very cold. But I hate how obviously like in this weather, you always have to wear a coat when you go outside. But like, I just want to look like this. I layered a lot underneath. Um, I have like a Skims bodysuit and a tank air little camisole. And then I also have just this like layered button up shirt underneath to kind of peek through. And then the star of the show, the self-portrait top um, with the lace sleeves. And then I just layered with a bunch of my Daisy charms. And then I just paired it with my Visu jeans because I wanted it to be somewhat streetwear, but also a touch of Renaissance. And um, yeah. Yeah, so mm, we're days away from Christmas day. So I want to take this time before my family comes to, you know, bring myself to explore London by myself. I wore this little cardigan to kind of keep warm because I don't really want to wear like a whole long coat. Let's see how cold it is outside. I think I can manage. This is how I check if I'm properly dressed for the weather. Let's go. Apparently it's also supposed to rain, so we're gonna bring my umbrella. What a beautiful day today was. This was about my first time sitting at a proper restaurant by my own and having a meal by my own. So a quick little recap of today. The weather was perfect. I did not need like a big puffer coat and 
I could have gone like this to be honest. So a quick little recap, I started off at the restaurant. I went to Manteca. Um, it basically is an Italian restaurant. They had a variety of pastas and I got to sit by the counter where they made the food right in front of you. So I feel like it would be a better experience rather than sitting like a normal sitting area. And I ordered a pasta and like this like seafood dish. I forgot the name. To be fair because it was my first time, you know, sitting at a restaurant, like a really packed restaurant, by the way. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit different if you were to, you know, sit and eat by your own at like a very low key place. But this was like a very popular restaurant. So I was, I think the only one there by myself. Prior, I was kind of a little bit skeptical because it might be a little bit, you know, like awkward. Like us humans, we're not used to sitting by ourselves eating at a very busy restaurant. So I did come in with that thought that it might be a little bit awkward, but to be honest, I feel like the more you get used to it, the more you kind of get used to the ambiance of just like being by yourself, sitting with your own thoughts and just like kind of experiencing the whole place to yourself. I was on my phone here and there, but sometimes I just like watch um, the cooks and like the chefs like right in front of me, like making the food. But I really did enjoy myself after. I enjoyed the food, the food was very good. Okay, see, my phone is dead, okay? I probably would have stayed out a little bit longer if it wasn't for my phone being dead. Um, I do need like a little um, charging adapter or whatever because my phone literally lasts like two hours if I like stay on it. So after the restaurant, I was by like this like really cool street and I was just kind of like wandering around um, planning on where to go next. And maybe I thought I'd take a couple of cute pictures because why not? Um, so I did bring my little remote for my camera so that I can, you know, take it by my own and just kind of like prop my phone down. And I took some really great pictures. I'll insert some of them on the screen. I did have my own little itinerary as to where I wanted to go. But the one thing that I do love more than actually planning my whole itinerary is stopping by like cool new stores on the way to where you actually wanted to go. Um, and I found so many cool stores, so many cool items. First of all, I tried on so many good pieces and the dangerous thing about that is I actually might want to get it. But I did stop by Good Hood and I got a couple of towels. Um, I've been eyeing these Tecla towels so I got their hand towel. They didn't have the blue striped hand towel so I got the brown. But I did get the blue striped in the um, bath towel. <laughs> I was gonna cook myself something, but I decided not to. I still got some leftover chicken from last night, so that is what I'm eating. I wanted to start the morning off with a little unboxing because I got this really cute care package by NDG Paris. So it says you're calling and here's a little care package to congratulate you for your new place on our side of the globe, um, which is so cute. I already had a little peek to be honest, but first we've got this dazed um, magazine. It has Taylor Russell at the front cover and beautiful, um, so I can't wait. I mean. Obviously, like I have like a whole magazine collection that's gonna add to it. You've got a chocolate box. Collins. Oh my god, what? The print of me all over them, which I thought was really cool with my NDG bag. Um, wait, this is so cute. Mm. So cute. And then I do have a little customized robe. It says Colleen as well, which is funny because I was about to buy like a whole robe for myself, but. Now I have one. And then of course we got a little white NDG bag. A little mini one. We got this chrome pink one. And then this is a mug. So we got a cute little customized mug. So that was our little unboxing today. Thank you to NDG. I've got my two little new Tecla towels that I have to soak in cold water prior to washing. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's also really tempting to splurge on the Tecla Jacquemus collab, but paying like almost 200 pounds for a top 
mind you, it's a pajama top. So for breakfast, I went to the Asian market yesterday. I got this pandan roll, which anything pandan I will literally demolish. Um, but I also got this cheesecake. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like an angel cake. So I might like snack on them and maybe like a little bread with banana. I do, okay. I signed up for Pilates. Um, I have Pilates at 1.30. And it's currently 11.30. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, somewhat strong for that um, because it's going to be working on my core a lot. And I'm actually pretty excited. To be honest, I feel like I have a really strong core. It needs a little bit more work, obviously, but I feel like hopefully it's not going to be too hard for me to handle. I'm going to do lemon water today because honestly, my appetite, I'm not really in the mood for a green juice right now. I feel like you guys are getting tired of me showing you guys what I eat for breakfast, but to be honest, like I love prepping breakfast. I got this bubble milk tea ice cream in Langka. If you guys are Filipino, oh my gosh. I think this stands for like jackfruit in English. I cannot wait to try this because I love Langka and um, yeah, anything that brings me back to like my Filipino roots, like I literally, I go crazy. I definitely want to visit the Philippines soon. For me, nothing beats Filipino food because obviously I'm Filipino. Um, like street food, I miss, um, what do I miss? I miss isao, which is literally like an intestine on a stick, but like they fry it, I think. And like balloons. Oh my god. I need like a good quality balloon. Okay, this is not gonna fill me up, so I might do like a peanut butter and banana. Like eating that is so satisfying. So this is what we got. We got the pandan roll and the cheesecake and a lemon water, and I'm probably gonna eat something else after this. I know my appetite, um, and this is not gonna fill me up. Cook some eggs. Let's do a little sriracha. I don't know why this combination is like superior. And honey together on eggs. Sometimes I'll just like eat it like this, but it's even better on avocado toast. And then sometimes a little sprinkle of lemon on top and mwah, I'm gonna go eat. So we're ready for Pilates. This is my outfit. Got this khaki pair of leggings and I also got on this long sleeve top. So let's go. right there that's supposed to go on top of my side table that's coming but it hasn't come yet so it's gonna stay on the floor I am gonna start off with the mac and cheese I got my pasta over here I'm gonna boil that water it says to not use pre-shredded cheese but that's actually what I got so my mom's mac and cheese recipe is very very good so hopefully this is just as good Parmigiano, oregano. Okay, so we got all our ingredients. By looking at this, how much is six tablespoons? Six tablespoons?
peach iced tea from this Asian store. Cheers. No, it's not. I made it. That's a lot of mac and cheese, girl. Who's eating all that? My family is coming tomorrow. You're supposed to make it fresh with them, not freaking second hand. Boy. Anyways, dessert time. I forgot I have my Lanka ice cream, so I'm going to try it. Yummy. Which fat ass eats the whole freaking ice cream? I'm not gonna eat the whole ice cream! To be honest, it's okay. 